Hey, you're listening to Sin. I'm Dominic, and I'm joined by an absolute legend, a member of the Misfits, of Christ the Conqueror, of Gorgeous Frankenstein, and currently of Doyle, whose debut Abominator came out last year on his own label, Mr. Doyle Wolfgang von Frankenstein. How are you, mate? I'm great. How are you doing? I'm doing, I'm doing really good. I'm, I'm honored to be talking to you. Thank you. Firstly, I want to ask, uh, are you, do you have plans to come down to Australia anytime soon? Uh, I want to see Abominator live, if possible. Yeah, we'll probably do it with the Japan run like everybody else does, you know? Mm-hmm, because um, I'd be so keen to, to come see that that live. That'd be so good. I noted on the album that um, I was listening to it and Alex's vocals, they're, they're tip-top. I think they might actually be, just between you and me, I think they sound better on Abominator than on his own Cancer Slug records. How did you guys actually meet? I had put ads out in um, L.A. and New York for singers and his was... I think this was the first one that came in, and this was the only one I listened to the whole thing straight through. I would listen to one song, as soon as singers would start singing, I'd throw in the garbage, and I threw away a couple of pretty famous people's things, and I found out about these bands later, and I was like, oh my God, I threw their stuff away. <laughs> You know, but uh, he, you know, his songwriting was just—it was great. Every song he sent me was great. He sent me about a hundred Cancer Slug songs, and they were all great. Yeah, they've got know? quite a—they got quite a discography. I, I was listening to a couple of their things as well. But um, but so the 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 writing process. So he did a lot of the the lyrics, and you did most of the music, or. Yeah, I write and arrange the music and I, I give it to him with a, like a piece of paper that says, you know, this is the intro, don't sing, the riff, don't sing, this yeah. part sing, this, and then I say, do whatever you want. You know what I mean? And yeah. it's this way he doesn't have to figure out what each part is that I'm trying to show him. You know what I mean? He knows where the verse is, where the chorus is. Mm-hmm. There's no wasting time and he just kills it. Yeah, he did. It, it sounds his his vocals on that uh, uh, like they're tip top. They're so good. Um, yeah, he's great. The album itself came out on your own personal label, Monster Man Records. Was it just less of a hassle to independently release the album, or well, have you been undercut or screwed over by like major labels in the past? You know what it is. We're so sick of waiting for records to recoup the money that they put into recording them, and when they do recoup, the whole band. I, I think you make around seventy cents and crap like that, and you know. We're only going to sell X amount of records, so we figure let's keep all the money. Yeah, that's so the way we got a bunch it. of distribution throughout the world, and instead of making seventy cents, we make seven dollars. Yeah, that's the that's the way right to go. Now, we make it. You know, I mean, we don't have to wait ten years to get it. We get it right now, and you know, I'm the label. I say what it looks like, what it, you know, when it comes out, and how many songs are on it, and whatever. The I want it to be that's what it's going to be yeah it's, it reminds me more like old school days you'd have to release something independently anyway you wouldn't be able to go to a major and just record it uh, like go to a major and, and get them to pay for it you'd have to do it all yourself and is that sort of like is that mentality did. never we left a, what we did was we went out and bought all the gear the pro tools and all the mics and we mic'd everything ourselves and uh, Dr. Chud did all the drums himself and I did all the guitars and bass and Alex did all the vocals at his house you know and you know, it cost us like $11,000 for equipment. Mm-hmm. And then all we had to do was pay to mix it. Yeah, that, that'd be the way to go. That's the, like, DIY or die approach. I love it. I was going to ask if you prefer to own music digitally or physically, but uh, you're more, you'd are more you be more of a physical record guy, right? Like, you'd be more of interested in having the actual album in front of you and the artwork, or do you prefer to actually listen to stuff on the phone? Or Well, you know what? It's more convenient on the phone for me now with all the traveling I do, and, you know, I get one of those sweet JBLs, and I just... You know, use the Bluetooth on it as soon as I get in my hotel, bam, mm-hmm. it's on, you know what I mean? But uh, I like to look at the artwork. You know, I want to read the words. I want to look at the pictures. I, you know, I, I like the big vinyl, but I don't I don't collect anything. I, I, I don't want nothing. Okay. I, I noticed that, uh, like, I was doing a bit of, uh, a little bit of looking on the website, and it, t- it looks like Abominator was supposed to be, or at least it was going to be initially, like, a gorgeous Frankenstein uh, record, but instead you've changed that, like, it's a new band, it's a new project. Why the, why the change? Why didn't you keep on with gorgeous Frankenstein, or, or uh, you know, like, why change it to a, a different band for a new record? Um, Gorgeous Frank that was a shitty name <laughs> and uh, nobody, rec- nobody recognized it it was me you know they'd come to the shows and they'd be like wow we didn't even know you had a band we just happened to come out tonight or we'd open for Danzig and you know 
25 people after the show at the meet and greet would be like, your band played? I didn't even, you know, I didn't know your band was playing, you know, uh, but it's right on the bill. So nobody could get it. We had got to use the KISS rule, keep it simple, stupid, and I didn't. You know, I didn't call it my name because I'm not full of myself either, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So my, my singer Alex named the band actually Doyle. Oh, I really? The, yeah. yeah, that's crazy. Like that's uh, that's pretty cool that you're just like, like you you sort of been nominated to be the front man of the of the project, I guess. Well, you know what it is. People know what that name is, you know, mm-hmm. and and that's why the album cover has a profile of my face on it. Because if you know who I am, you're gonna recognize that as soon as you look at it. You know what I mean? Yeah, there's there's not too and, many that, um, that can, there's not too many people around that can still pull off the devil lock, man. You still rock it. It's so good. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> That's fun. Yeah. So earlier this year, you were actually out at uh, at Fear Fest Evil. Uh, that looked like it yeah, was a, a lot of fun. Yeah, it was cool. It was great to um, you know be invited on the panel with all those you know big stars to me. You know, so you know those guys are heroes to me. So just to be up there with them, at one point I looked at them and I was like, why am I up here? <laughs> <laughs> you know. Do you have any, um, have you seen any, like, awesome horror movies lately? Do you have any, like, great horror movie recommendations for anybody at all? You know, I, I haven't watched TV all year. I watched the Super Bowl. I watched a couple of Giants games until they were out. And I, I don't want to get sick to my stomach, so I don't watch it anymore. But, the, uh, no, I just, I take my kids to the movies to see whatever they want, you know. And mm. I don't, I haven't seen any horror movies. I don't know what the hell's going on. <laughs> uh, you should. Um, I, I read that you wanted to get into um, into one of Rob Zombie's films, and he, I, I heard that he's working on a new Devil's Rejects, or, or at least a, a movie that's like Devil's Rejects. You should try and hit him up, see if you can get in that. I should. When we uh, start doing it, I will definitely do that. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, what's on the horizon for you or the band? Like, are you writing new material now, or are you focusing on touring still, or? What's going on? Well, we recorded two records at once, so we have uh, another 13-song CD ready to go. It just doesn't have a title or artwork, and um, it's not mixed. So, you know, we're going to start touring. The end of May, we start a tour. As soon as it's uh, finalized, we're going to post it uh, through the uh, beginning of June, uh, July, rather, and then we're going to, you know, probably go to Europe, hopefully go to Japan, and just, you know, Maybe another U.S. run. Hmm. You know, but, uh, yeah, that's it. Cool, cool, cool. Um, okay, well, Abominator is out now. It's available digitally in stores as well as from officialdoyle.com. That's official, D-O-Y-L-E dot com. Um, thanks again, Mr. Doyle Wolfgang von Frankenstein of Doyle for speaking with me today. You're welcome, sir, anytime. Oh, that's, that's a, it, was a, it was a pleasure, absolute pleasure. 